What's up, Eagles fans, and welcome into the film room presented by Chickies and Pete's. I'm Fran Duffy, and today we're going to continue our look at the 2020 Eagles draft class. And we're going to go here today with third round pick Davion Taylor out of Colorado. Really athletic player, and I wanted to pick one game, and this was one of his most productive games of the season against Stanford. And I, one of the reasons why I also like the Stanford game is that it's against an offense that's a little bit more pro style. You're going to see you know more tight ends, you're going to see more two back stuff, so you're going to see him closer to the line of scrimmage, closer to the ball in a more traditional linebacker role, which he was not always used in. And really, we could start right here at the very top, and it's the second play of the game. It's second down, and there he is, number 20. You can see that he's stacked to the formation here, meaning he's behind the defensive line. That's not often where he was used in the structure of this defense. Very often, he was lined up out to the outside. And so we're going to see here with Davion Taylor, he's just going to be a part of the run fit. He is actually a B gap player here. So he's responsible for this gap right here between the tackle and the guard. If the ball goes into that gap, he's going to be the guy responsible for it. And he can't leave that gap because he's got to make sure that he's responsible for his part of the run fit. So he doesn't make the tackle there, but just kind of showing, okay, he was used more in a traditional role in this game. That being said, you're still going to see plenty of him out in space. And here he's just lined up over the slot one-on-one. -on -one. He's not a part of the run fit here, uh, at least in a more traditional sense. He's going to be more asked to play in space. So that third down play saw him, again, playing over the slot receiver. We're going to see that here on the very next play. You can see Davion Taylor right here again in the slot. And watch what happens. They're actually going to throw a bubble screen in his direction and I want you to watch the ferocity with which he attacks that block you can see the heavy handedness there where he's going to again just kind of strike the blocker here right there boom lock out make sure that he's playing outside force the action back inside to his help that's a little bit of a, an underrated trait there it's not that he doesn't yeah he doesn't necessarily make the play against the tight end but he stayed outside forcing the ball back inside again here's Davion Taylor and he's just going to force that action back inside. Their back catches it. He's got to cut back inside to the rest of those black jerseys. And that's a big, big part of being able to be an overall team run defender. Obviously, that was the screen game. But forcing the action back inside was his role on that play. Really nice job from Davion Taylor. Now, on this play, a few plays later, we're going to see something similar. And this time, he's going to be lined up right on the ball, right on the line of scrimmage over the tight end. You see him there on the right side of your screen, number 20. Now, he's responsible for that gap between the two tight ends. So he's responsible for this gap right inside here, okay? And so now, Taylor, once the ball snapped, he's got to be able to hold that gap. And he's going to be matched up on a tight end here. So you see him, he's going to attack the block. He's got his hands right into the shoulder pads of the tight end, and he's got his eyes into the backfield. He knows that he's got to be able to keep that running back contained. If that running back sprints to the sideline, well, now he's got to get on his horse and try and make the play. If he's going to try and read off the block of the tight end, well, now he's got to be able to do his job and make sure he forces the action back inside. So let's see how Taylor plays this. Again, he's number 20 there on the right side. You see how he's holding that outside pad of the tight end. You see his helmet is outside. So that's attacking the block with what you call good hat placement, right? He's got to be able to keep his eyes outside, force that running back to cut back inside because all these black jerseys are coming in pursuit from the left. So here's Taylor on the right. He's forcing the back back inside. Really well done there from Davion Taylor. Again, a guy who's about 216, 218 pounds at this point, maybe a little bit heavier at that point in the college season. He's trying to be able to make the play, and he does that there. Now, we're going to look at this next one here a few plays later. There's Davion Taylor again lined up off the edge. You can see him right here looking as if he's going to be blitzing off the edge against that tackle, but he's actually going to drop back into coverage here. And what I love about this play is that you're really going to be able to see that short area burst, that closing speed from Davion Taylor. Because like I said, here he is right here. He's going to drop back into coverage and fly downhill and make this play in the flat. A little quick pass to the quarterback's right. It's an empty set. He turns. It's just going to be a little screen pass. Again, there's Davion Taylor. Watch him drop back and make this play. Really, really short area burst there. We can see this from the end zone angle. Here he is again on the left side. We'll just try and see if we can keep an eye on him here through the play. There he is there. And you just see the closing speed there, the athletic ability for Davion Taylor, both linearly, okay, in a straight line, and laterally, really, really impressive. And we're going to see that here over the course of this game. And just a few plays later, there's Davion Taylor, number 20, 
again, right off the edge here. He's going to be coming as if he's blitzing, but again, he's going to drop back in coverage. And what I want you to watch here on this one is the change of direction, the lateral mobility. You see the fluidity in his hips here to match up against that receiver in the slot. Watch Davion Taylor here as he just puts his foot in the ground. You see how quickly he's able to kind of shift those hips and you see the potential there in coverage. He does a great job there. You just kind of get a sense of his athletic ability. He doesn't make the play or anything, but again, you're looking for signs of that athletic ability and he shows that there. Now, a few plays later, you know, that one we saw the, the lateral movement, right? His ability to kind of flip his hips and turn. On this one, we're going to once again see the closing speed. Here's Davion Taylor the number three defender, all right, over the, the slot receiver. So here's Davion matched up on this number three receiver here in the slot. And this is just going to be a bubble screen. This receiver is going to flow right to the top of the screen here. And I want you to watch how quickly Davion is able to close on this throw. Watch the athleticism. Watch the closing burst. You see the range to be able to make the play outside the numbers. Nice violent finish there on the tackle as well. We're going to see here again. Here's Davion. He's just off the screen to the left side. So we'll see him here on the back side of this play. You love to be able to see those linebackers that have that range from the middle of the field. Now, a few series later, we're going to once again see Davion Taylor in the slot. And again, you get a sense of his comfort, his feel being able to play in space because that's not easy, number one, especially at the linebacker position. Something that you can take for granted is a guy that feel, feels comfortable being motioned into the slot, being motioned out wide against a running back, against a tight end, even sometimes against a, a bigger slot receiver. So having that linebacker with that versatility is certainly a plus. Now, when you take a look at him here, here's the one-on-one -on -one matchup, him with this slot receiver. And I want you to watch him really quick. He's just going to read this play, get downhill. It's going to be another screen pass to the flat, but he's not going to go in kamikaze style. He's not going to go in and just try and destroy this block. Once again, he's going to try and keep that block on his inside shoulder, stay outside the block, and force the running back to come back inside. Again, because that's where the black jerseys are. That's where his help is. So he's going to come in. He's going to try and force him to his help. The problem is the help doesn't make the play here. The running back is able to get off this tackle attempt, and Davion Taylor ends up being there to make the stop. Now, it takes him a little bit of time to get the back to the ground. Again, if you're dealing with a smaller linebacker, you're going to give up a little bit in terms of play strength and power, right? But you're going to get that back with the athleticism, with the range, the change of direction, all those things. So whenever you've got those linebackers that are a little bit smaller, yeah, you're giving up the play strength, but ultimately you want guys that can play in space. And Davion Taylor is certainly a guy that can do that. Now, a couple of seconds ago, I talked about how you kind of have to toe that line, right? If you're going to give up the athleticism, you're going to get back play strength. If you give up play strength, you're going to get back some of that athleticism. So with Davion Taylor, you're going to see that there are times where he's going to get a little bit overpowered at the point of attack. He's just got to get a little bit bigger and stronger. And this is one of those occasions, all right? Here he is. He's going to be what's called a D-gap player against this run play. Here's Davion Taylor on the right of your screen. But after the motion, that's going to bring him in a little bit tighter, all right? So he's going to kind of change gaps. You saw him communicating to the safety. He's now responsible for this gap between the two tight ends. The safety is going to come and be responsible for this gap outside the tight end. So here's Davion Taylor on this play. The ball is going to be snapped, and this tight end is just going to try and pin him inside. Again, Davion Taylor is responsible for this gap. There's going to be Here comes the safety. He's got to fill in right here. That's where the back is going to go. You'd like Davion Taylor, as the linebacker, be able to overpower this tight end at some point and be able to make this play. He's unable to do it quick enough to be able to make the play. And you can see the safety comes in. He's able to get there and make the stop. With Davion Taylor, again, it's just going to come down to being able to get bigger and stronger. But I'll tell you one thing. Half the battle with these young linebackers is having them understand where they're supposed to be in the run game. And that's a little bit harder to get past with these college players. Again, here's Davion Taylor. This is the same play. I'm just playing it back. He's in the right spot. He's just going to have to get a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. And in an NFL weight room, he'll be able to do that. Now, a couple of plays later, you're going to once again see the versatility for Davion Taylor in coverage in terms of how he was used. Because when you have those athletic pieces in your front seven, they really kind of opens up the playbook defensively with what you can ask them to do. All the different things you can do with sugaring as a rusher, as a potential blitzer, falling off into coverage, a lot of disguise elements because they've got the ability to cover a lot of ground at the snap of the ball. Here's a great example. Watch Davion Taylor again. He's lined up right across from the guard right here in the B-gap. So there's Davion Taylor as if he's going to blitz over this guard. What he's actually going to do, he's actually covering this tight end, number 84 in man-to-man -man coverage. So once again, there's Davion Taylor 
There's the man he's covering down the seam. This is going to be really fun to be able to watch because you're really going to get a sense of his range in coverage. That's a tough ask for a college linebacker, but he does that. Now, the thing you'd like to be able to see, you like the athletic ability. He's just got to get his head around. Once he's in position right there, instead of trying to make the play through the catch point, he's got to understand, okay, at some point I've got to get my head around. The timing of it is just a little bit off. If the ball was there a little bit sooner, he was okay to be able to play his hands through that catch point. He's doing the right thing in that stance. But since the ball's there a little bit later, he then instead draws too much contact and he ends up getting a flag. So there's the penalty there on that play on Davion Taylor. But again, when you're talking about evaluating the traits and what he's asked to do, you can coach up the finishing at the catch point. You can coach up those kinds of things. You can't coach up his ability to run with this tight end down the seam coming from five gaps over, six gaps over to be able to make that play in coverage. Now, very often with defenders that play this role that Davion Taylor plays, I've talked with a lot of linebackers that have played in the NFL, and I'll ask them this question about guys that play this role and say, you know, how hard is it to transition from playing in space, playing in the slot, to playing a more stacked role? And I've, I've talked with a lot of guys about this, and for the most part, what a lot of them say is that it's actually more impressive to be able to see these guys have to process things, get through their run pass keys from distance. Because they're if they're closer to the ball, obviously you're being able to see it sometimes from a little bit of a clearer vantage point. From distance, it can be a little bit hard to sometimes to be able to anticipate, okay, this is what's happening and here's what's going on. This is a good example of that play. This is the very next snap after the penalty. Here's Davion Taylor lined up as kind of that half you know overhang defender where he's almost in the slot here's the slot receiver he's going to also be responsible for the outside gap so if this ball gets handed off and the running back travels outside the offensive tackle that's on Davion Taylor and you can see here when the ball snapped and there's a play action fake here watch his eyes he's reading because he knows I've got a run key here a run responsibility in the fit but then also I've got to be able to get back in coverage so he's going to read this run play once he sees that it's a play action pass, you see him get on his horse, get outside the numbers, and help ride this receiver out of bounds. And it just kind of speaks to the difficulty of playing that role. And again, you can see him on the far left of your screen there. There's Davion Taylor. Read the run, realize it's a play action pass. Now you see the range to make the play outside the numbers. Now, a couple of series later, we're gonna see almost the same exact look from both the offense and the defense. Once again, it's gonna be a split back look here from the offense. You see the quarterbacks in the gun. You've got two running backs on either side. Here's Davion Taylor, once again, playing in that same role, kind of that overhang look where he's gonna have a run key and pass key on this play. He's gonna have responsibilities in both areas of the game. Now, the ball's gonna be snapped, and I want you to watch Davion Taylor here. Once again, he's gonna read run. This time, look, the, running, the quarterback keeps it. Looks like he's gonna be running some kind of an option play to the right side. Here's Davion Taylor. He has to try and not over pursue because he's still responsible for anything that comes back. A lot of guys that are hyper athletic, you can see sometimes they're a little bit too overzealous in trying to pursue and make that play from the backside. What I like here from Davion Taylor is that he kind of stays home and it's a good thing he does because this is actually going to be a reverse. They're going to pitch this back to the receiver coming from the bottom of the screen and he's going to come back in that direction. Davion Taylor has to make this play. The safety does a great job of reading this. He's going to run downhill, force that running back to kind of bump this a little bit further outside than he'd like. But again, here's Davion Taylor. Watch his ability to make this play out on an island and it's not easy to break down and finish one-on-one -on -one and get a ball carrier to the ground again that speaks to his athleticism so there's Davion Taylor on the left side of your screen again when you're talking about athletic ability it's not just the explosiveness the short area stuff the change of direction the ability to have the body control to break down and make this play one-on-one -on -one, that's an athletic play now a couple of series later, we're now into the fourth quarter. It's a tie ball game. It's 13-13. Stanford had just gone down. They had a big play for a touchdown. So we're in crunch time. Colorado needs to come up with a stop. Now, on this play, here's Davion Taylor, right side of the screen. Here he is right here. He's responsible for the C-gap between the tight end and the tackle. So he's responsible for this space right here in the run game. Once again, the ball starts going away. So some guys, again, once again, can get overzealous. You'll see some guys get a little bit too excited to try and go and make the play in pursuit. They're trying to suck him to play inside. Watch the back. He's going to put his foot in the ground, come back backside. You see Davion Taylor. 
here. Once again, number 20, he's going to get outside and try and make this play. Is this the most powerful tackle you're ever going to see? No, but he wraps up, gets his man to the ground. That's what you want from your linebacker, especially on first down. Stop the run. Now, second down, you're going to see he's lined up a little bit more in space. You can see he's lined up over the number three receiver. So there's your matchup. There's Taylor. There's the receiver. Now, if you're a man-to-man, -man, that's who would be matched up with. But this is going to be zone coverage. He's actually going to end up playing over the number two receiver, this tight end here, in the slot. And so I want you to watch here. We'll just kind of play it and pause it really quick just to see how Taylor ends up getting matched up. He drops back in zone coverage. He's got his eyes on the quarterback and in peripheral. He's going to have maintain that relationship to that number two receiver. But I want you to see, once again, that burst in coverage. Watch him make this play, stick his foot in the ground, make this play on the ball, ends up coming up with a pass breakup on second and long. We'll just see this from the end zone angle. There's Taylor, far left of your screen. Again, we're, we should be able to see him through most of this rep as he's going to stick his foot in the ground, make this play to bring up third down. And on third down, he makes another big play in coverage. Here's Davion Taylor lined up in the slot one-on-one -on -one with this slot receiver. You see the relationship here, press man coverage on the outside, off coverage, they've got to be leveled off, and it's a good thing that they are. If they're on the same level, you've got the opportunity for a pick route or a rub route to make sure you get Davion Taylor off of his spot. What's going to happen here is this receiver at the top of the screen, he's going to run right at Davion Taylor and then work upfield. That's going to serve as a kind of interference to try and create some separation for this receiver, number two. All he's doing is running to the flat. Davion Taylor has to play off of this route, get over the top, and then close and make this play. Really, really impressive stuff from Davion Taylor. We're just going to let this run, and I want you to see what he does. Watch him play over that route, then close, make the play in the flat, short of the sticks. You love to see that from Davion Taylor. Great, great play there in coverage to bring up fourth down. So what happens? Colorado gets the ball back. Tie game, once again, 13-13. They drive the length of the field. They kick a game-winning field goal. And they get the win over Stanford. And that final defensive series for Colorado, first down, Davion Taylor runs stuff. Second down, Davion Taylor makes a play in the flat. Third down, he once again makes the play in coverage, gets the ball on the ground, and forces a punt. Davion Taylor, a huge, huge piece of that win for the Colorado defense, one of their best defensive performances of the season. And to me, when you look at Davion Taylor and you look at this game, was this a, a highlight reel where you're going to see all the high-flying you know, the uh, high flying plays and the, the, the explosive tackles through contact? No, but that's the point of this series, right? I want you to just kind of join me in the film room. We're going to kind of pick through some of the traits. One of the th reasons why we saw the Eagles have that kind of faith in Taylor, you saw so many things, right? We saw the blitzing ability. We saw the coverage ability, him making plays against the run. And to me, in this game, what I loved seeing was him playing against more condensed formations where he had to play a little bit closer to the ball because that's how he's going to be used more often than not in the NFL. So this was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed sitting in my film room with me to watch Davion Taylor. Make sure you tune in for the rest of our film room series presented by Chickies and Pete's as we continue breaking down the 2020 draft class for the Philadelphia Eagles.